article of impeachment exhibited by the House of Representatives of the United States of America in the name of itself and of the people of the United States of America against Donald John Trump, President of the United States of America, in maintenance and support of its impeachment against him for high crimes and misdemeanors. When people were barging through these doors, breaking the windows with weapons, armed, pipe bombs, coming here to harm all of you, to harm the Speaker, to harm the Senate. Let me ask you a question. What do you think they would have done if they had gotten in? What do you think they would have done to you? And who do you think sent them here? The President bears responsibility for Wednesday's attack on Congress by mob rioters. He should have immediately denounced the mob when he saw what was unfolding. These facts require immediate action by President Trump. Accept his share of responsibility, quell the brewing unrest, and ensure President-elect Biden is able to successfully begin his term. These articles of impeachment are flawed, but I will not use process as an excuse. There is no excuse for President Trump's actions. The President took an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Last week, there was a domestic threat at the door of the Capitol, and he did nothing to stop it. If we fail to remove a white supremacist president who incited a white supremacist insurrection, it's communities like Missouri's first district that suffer the most. The 117th Congress must understand that we have a mandate to legislate in defense of black lives. The first step in that process is to root out white supremacy, starting with impeaching the white supremacist in chief. Madam Speaker, I've seen the dark evil of political violence firsthand, and it needs to stop. But all of us need to be unequivocal in calling it out every single time we see it, not just when it comes from the other side of the aisle. I oppose this rushed impeachment brought forward without a single hearing. And by the way, the Senate will not even take this up until President Trump is out of office. So let's keep that in mind. It will only serve to further divide a nation that is calling out for healing. The ayes are 232, the nays are 197. The res resolution is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. It has passed.